Okay guys, we're going to go over adding and subtracting fractions. And there's rules for each, uh, let's say, title and division and fractions. you got adding and subtracting, multiplying, uh, and dividing. Okay, so we're going to be adding and subtracting. And there's a rule there that I want you to remember. And that rule is going to be when you're adding or subtracting fractions, the main goal is to find a common denominator, and that means the bottom numbers you see here. These are the denominators. These are the numerators. So remember that rule. The denominators here have to have a number that they both go into. So it has to be the same number at the bottom that they both go into. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and start off. And... I'm going to put an equal sign here. I'm going to go ahead and move my fraction signs here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the two denominators, the bottom numbers, and say, um, what can go in both of these? And just to give you a clear note that if you ever have trouble, you can multiply these two bottom numbers and you'll find it automatically. And that's the number both of them will go into. But since I did such a smaller number, we see 8 and 4. We know 4 and 8 both can go into 8. So all we do is we move the 8 over. Okay? Now, after we have found our common denominator, there's a rule that I want you to remember. And this will help you when you have, you know, a lot of us forget. And I remember struggling with it. Um, you're going to put, after you find your common denominator, you're going to put a division sign on the bottom and a multiply sign on top and do the same for this one. Now all you have to do is read the problem. 4 will divide into 8 how many times? Okay and that's going to be 2 and you put the 2 up on top and just read the problem. 2 times 2 equals 4. It's really easy. And Now we read it again. How many times will 8 go into 8? And that's going to be one time. We put that on top. And 4 times 1 equals 4. Now we move the addition sign over. And then what we have left is we need to add the numerators, the top numbers. And we're going to leave the denominator the same. We just drop it down. So all we have left to do now is add 4 plus 4. And that's 8. Now, when we have the same number, numerator and denominator, one on top of each other on a fraction, that is a, it's eight pieces out of eight pieces, okay? And if you were to take that eight, and sometimes you can look at a, fra a fraction as a division problem, can eight divide into eight, and how many times that's one, okay? So basically, that's just a whole piece of pie right there, okay? Now, I hope this helps. I just started uh, doing my videos, and I, I was thinking, you know, if somebody would have taught this to me this way, I would have remembered it forever. So good luck, guys. I hope it helped.